time for the video of the day. I'm your host, Greg. Welcome. Some of you may notice that I'm not wearing a hat. I'm trying to stay away from it a little bit because last weekend, last week when I left, I forgot my hat. I left it at home, so I didn't have one. But my wife had given me my short haircut, so I really didn't need a hat to cover anything up, so I was good. Then when I got home last weekend, I... Uh, I think I went, I think we went to Walmart and I put my hat on and by the time we went to Walmart and got out of Walmart, my eyes were stinging because the sweat was coming down my forehead and it was picking something up from the hat. I washed my hat. So I wonder if it's getting the soap from my hat that might still be in the material and it's getting into my eyes. It's making my eyes sting. I have that problem with it out here on the road too. So I just stopped wearing a hat um, I gotta have my wife cut my hair back down though <laughs> it has been a wild week um, I've gotten in some pretty good miles already for this week and I'm, right now I'm sitting in uh, West Plains, Missouri waiting for my next load they, I don't think they thought I was going to make it here today I didn't think I was going to make it here today but I made a lot better time than I thought of getting up here. Um, but uh, the thing I want to talk about today is children learning. It's the title of the video, right? Children learning. What do children learn in school today? These days. I say today. I don't know what they learn today. But, you know, th at this time, this period in history, what do kids learn in school? I really don't know, but I don't think, I think there's two things that they should learn that they don't, but I don't think they do. One of them is what we called in the day home ec, to a point. Home ec was more about um, uh, cooking and sewing and things of that nature. They need to learn those things. But they also need to learn how to, how to set a budget, how to balance a budget, how to deal with their credit cards, how to deal with, with their, their bank accounts, okay? Um, what it takes to get a loan, okay? What it takes to survive on your own and pay the bills and be able to take the money that you're making and make things work. And I don't think they teach the kids that. And that needs to be, in my opinion, that needs to be a requirement for graduation. Okay? Also, to top that off, it not only needs to be a requirement for graduation, but it also needs to be a class where you get at least a B. You have to have at least 80% or you don't pass the class. Okay? Because that is something that needs to be learned. The other thing that I don't think they teach very very well in high school, I know they teach it, but I don't think they teach it very well. U.S. history. Okay? There are people out there that if you ask them who delivered the Gettysburg Address would probably say FedEx. I don't know. One of my kids might say, I don't know. Did my dad deliver that? I don't know. Here's your question. Here's the question. And I want you to leave the comment. I want you to leave the answer down in the comments. Okay. Who delivered the Gettysburg Address? Okay. Those of you who are my age probably know. Those of you who are not my age probably don't know and will ask somebody before you put it down here. Before you put the answer. And I'll tell you, whoever gets the answer right, I'll let them know. But I'm not going to let them know right away because I want you guys to have a chance to answer first. Before I, you know, that way if somebody gives the right answer and I say that's the right answer, well then everybody else can just copy their answer. What kind of government do we have? We have a republic. Always has been. A republic is a government 
with elected officials, people that are elected by the people, rather than a king or queen. That's a simple definition of a republic. There are people out there who don't know that. And it's, it's just, it's important to know. It's important to learn these things. Okay? Especially in years like this, election year. Okay? Um, I seen somebody posted something about uh, vote for Biden because Trump's going to ruin our democracy. We're not a democracy. We're a republic. I'll get it. <laughs> why? Because why? Because Trump wants you to vote from home. It was funny. I go down the road and I see people drive by. And I, again, I've said this before. I'll say it again. I have no problem if you need to wear a mask. I really don't. But when I see people driving down the road in the car by themselves and they're wearing If, I, if I'm driving down the road and I see you and you have a mask on and you're in the t- car all by yourself, I'm going to assume you farted. <laughs> and you're just trying to cover up the smell. That's... <laughs> oh, I tell you, I went into, uh, I had to get fuel this morning and Flying J, the, the loves I stayed at last night was close for remodeling so I had to go to a flying J again and get fuel to make sure I had enough fuel to get to where I needed to go and um, I got down there and all of the all of the fuel pumps say mask required in store you get up there and there's stickers all over the place mask required in store you walk in the store and nobody's wearing a mask <laughs> there were a few people that were wearing a mask um, but I seen a few employees that weren't even wearing masks I said this before, I'll say it again, about this whole COVID-19 deal. Two things I'm going to say about it, then I'm going to shut up, okay? The first thing is, this has been going on for the majority of the year. I only wear a mask if the company says, we're not going to deal with you unless you wear a mask, okay? O'Reilly's in, in the O'Reilly's Distribution Center in Siegelville, Texas. You cannot go in there and and tell them that I'm there to pick up recycled batteries. They don't care. They're not going to call the person up until you've got a mask on. So that's the only time I wear a mask. Even when the love started it, and I know I complained about this. I did a video on it. I would put my mask. I'm trying to get my mask off the hook here. I would put my mask on, but I would what I would do is I would leave it around my neck. I wouldn't put it over my mouth. Okay, in protest. Okay. But they couldn't say I wasn't wearing my mask. I was wearing it. I just wasn't wearing it where I was supposed to. But I was wearing it. Okay? I don't have it. Okay? And I've been going all year. And and I I don't stay in one spot. I travel around. Y'all know that. If this virus was as potent and as serious as they say it is, you'd think I'd have it by now. The other thing that I wanted to say about COVID-19 is I would rather have COVID-19 than Biden 20. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up and I'm going to get it put together before you get it put on. I've been going on for like almost nine minutes now and I still haven't got another load yet. That's why I figured I could quickly put this together. So that's what I'm doing. I'm putting it together. and Hopefully I'll have it on for you. I don't have much of a signal here, but as soon as I get a good signal, I'll get it, I have it all put together and I'll get it on YouTube for you. So remember, like, comment, share this video. If you're watching it on YouTube, down below there, you see it right down there? See it? It's a subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button, then hit the little bell, and you'll be alerted every time I post a video. Okay? If you're on Facebook, you can try and join my, my Facebook. Please, answer the questions honestly. If you don't know me, then say, no, I don't know Greg the Crazy Trucker. If I say, how do you find out? How do you find out about our page? They say YouTube. Then I know they watch on YouTube and I'm going to let them join. Anyway, until next time, this is your host of the video of the day. Greg the Crazy Trucker saying, see ya.